Today I'm going to show you how I made a data tracker with Makey Makey and Scratch. So you can see that the number is 31 right now for how many fifth grade students have come to the library. I'm going to go ahead and hit click the green flag and now you can see that number is set to zero. My switch is connected to Makey Makey. I have space here to this key press and earth plugged in at the bottom. If I press them both with my fingers, you can see it light up and it, fifth grade increases to one. But what I'm really doing is I've made a switch so that every time a student slaps the switch, it will make a connection and the Makey Makey will count that key press. You can see space is going off and the number is increased from five to six here. But ideally, I'm gonna want to have this set up where the kids aren't gonna see my switch. They're gonna see this post-it note and it's gonna have a five on it. And they're just gonna come in and when they come in the library, they're gonna tap it and it's going to increase. And as it increases, um, if you wanna keep track every day of how many fifth graders come, you'll tap F and that's gonna add the total from before. So we had 31 and now we have 41. Now, if we wanna go back to counting, we're gonna hit the green flag and it's gonna reset to zero. Now, I've also added something in Scratch in case your students come up and they press a little too long or a little too hard. You can see it's increasing by one, but I'm holding it down and it's going kinda slowly. You can see I'm pressing five, six, it's going up, but that's because I've added a wait one second block in Scratch. So I'm gonna show you really quick. I'm gonna go off screen and show you how that code helps slow down the counter. So here in Scratch, I'm gonna drag my wait one second off of this when space clicked. Because right now if I'm pressing space and I wait a second, you can see it goes slowly. But if I take space off and now I press space bar, my number is increasing phenomenally. I'm already up to number 47. So I'm gonna put wait one second back and I can even change this to half a second if I'd like. And now you can see it's kind of a more normal a, a clicker. So adjust the number as you want and you've got your own data tracker. The full lesson and instructions for building your own data tracker are available in Makey Makey Labs. Go there now to find out how to make your own.